Hi everyone, welcome back. Kate and I did a quick trip to Ulta this afternoon and we thought we would do a little haul for you. And uh, I also have recently discovered Nordstrom Rack. I don't know where I've been all this time. It's been around forever. But one just recently opened up in my neighborhood at work and of course I had to go check it out and I've picked up a few things there um, a couple weeks ago. I've, some of them I've been wearing a little bit uh, but I thought I would officially talk about them today. So I'm gonna start with the Nordstrom stuff mm -hmm. first. Let me just say that's a really pretty awesome place to shop. Just saying. So I'm gonna start off with uh, this, I'm gonna go in front of your face. This Michael Kors bag I'm, I'm already using it, so that's why it's starting to look a little broken in. Um, but it's that coral color. <laughs> right in front of my face. Right in front of your face. It's that coral color uh, that I just am so in love with this uh, It looks more summer. pink on camera, but it's really coral. Like, it's an intense coral color. Yeah. Michael Kors thingy there. And um, there's a nice little pocket in here. And I have to tell you, I'm usually not a fan of like tote bags with the two straps. <laughs> but because these are flat, they really sit nicely on your shoulder and it's really comfortable to wear. So um, the other thing I picked up were a couple of pair of earrings and... That's upside down, I think. It is upside down. There you go. So, oh, that one needs to be turned. I have these little uh, dangly ones, which I thought were kind of cool. They're just kind of a little hammered gold tone. And then I have these, they're all upside down. Clearly, I'm not doing a good job of this. These are little silver, kind of long, tassel-y things. Yeah, I thought they'd be kind of fun to wear. And um, these black metal uh, hoops, which are rather large. Mm -hmm. And I have worn these in a video. You'll see them uh, probably before probably before I post this haul video. Uh, these, these earrings she wore for Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. And she wore like a maxi dress. And my dad liked her outfit a lot. He did. I was, mm -hmm. I was pleased. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to let you go and next and sh talk about some of the things you picked up at Ulta today. So the first thing is something that we both kind of got and we decided to try out these I'll hold this fun little masks that we got at Ulta. And the cloth ones that we both got were like $2.49 and then the other ones were $1.99. We both got this same one and it's uh, a Dead Sea face spa mask. The next thing I got that I've actually used before this, mm -hmm. we took showers and then filmed this, and that's the Jergens Natural Glow, Glow? The Jergens Natural Glow uh, Three Days to Glow Moisturizer. And I got mine in fair to medium because I'm pale. I also picked this up uh, and I got mine in medium to tan. So she's tanner than I am. So uh, yeah, Memorial Day is coming up, the pool's going to open and maybe we'll do like a little tanning competition. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I Or a comparison of the colors. Probably. The one thing I like about this is that it doesn't smell like self tanner or sunless tanner. Like it doesn't smell weird, it actually smells good. And she can't smell it on me. No. At all. It doesn't really have any fragrance. So which is kinda cool. So I also picked up uh in addition to that other uh to this, I picked up these uh sublime bronze self tanning towelettes by L'Oreal. Um so I'm, you know, kind of experimenting with some different self-tanners. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I picked those up. I actually gave this to my sister at Christmas time because we were all going on vacation together. She really liked them. So anyway. Oh, 
and I also got um, uh, sunscreen. This is a new kind of sunscreen from L'Oreal, which is like a it's like an oil-based, like a dry oil sunscreen uh, with an SPF of 50. So I thought I'd give that a go. You know, self tan and then protect. That's, mm -hmm. that's what we're doing. Okay. So then um, we're going to the Outer Banks this summer for a week with my mom's side of the family, and I notoriously get sunburned even though I wear like 50 plus. I'm just very fair. And so I got the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration After Sun Lotion, and it has aloe in it along with a moisturizer, and I've, it's new, but I've heard a lot of things about it, and it smells delicious. I have their After Sun Lotion. It smells delicious, but I delicious. bought it. I bought it because it's small, and it'll fit in my, my beach bag, and it's not gigantic, and it smells good. Mm -hmm. That's always plus. Mm -hmm. Am I keeping? Uh, go ahead. Okay. I'll jump in if I want to <laughs> infringe on your time. <laughs> <laughs> so then the next thing I got were shampoo and conditioner. Um, this is the Pantene Aqualite. And I have very thick hair, so this works really, really well for me. It's a, I think it doesn't have, it's a silicone-free shampoo and conditioner, which makes your hair really, really lightweight. And... I personally really like it. The next thing I got was the Tresemme Platinum Strength uh, Strengthening Heat Protectant. I've used the original Thermal Creations one, but I have a lot of problems with breakage with my hair, and so this really helps with it, and it smells really good. Have you used it? You I use it. I use it when I blow dry my hair. I don't always straighten my hair, but when I blow dry it, that's what I use. Okay. I also picked up a couple of hair products. I picked up this Nexus Hydrolyte Weightless Moisture Root Lift Mist. It looks like this and it just is like a little spray and um, I used it tonight before you know, we just showered and mm -hmm. got ready for this video and I was pretty impressed. First impression, we'll see after a day at work. <laughs> what that's like. And then I also picked up um, this, uh, I can't read it because it's so shiny. It's like, um, it's by L'Oreal. It's a, a protectant that you put on your hair to protect it from the sun when you're at the beach. But look, it's like, it's like, I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's like, like those remover. dual phase makeup remover, so you have to shake it up. Anyway, you know, I spend a lot of time and money on coloring my hair. So I'm really hoping that something like this will help preserve the color a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. So that's why I picked that up. Okay. Carry on. All right. So my next, this is kind of like my bigger purchase, but I I justify it because it lasts a long time, and that's my perfume, which is Zivola Juicy. Um, I recently started, I started using this around my birthday in September, um, and I ran out, and so I got another one. But the bottle looks like this. It's really it's cute. So cute. And people always tell me when they think of this smell, they think of me. Because it smells like me. Because I wear it all the time. Mm -hmm. I wear it every day. That's like your signature fragrance. That's my signature fragrance. So, mm -hmm. I like the smell. So, might as well just keep using it. <laughs> Alright. The next stuff that I got, I'm just trying out for because it looked interesting at the store, and I thought, hey, Give why it not? Give it's it a, a go. It's a drugstore. So I got the Rimmel Match Perfection um, Foundation, which I didn't know how I was going to feel about this. It's actually really lightweight, which is nice. And it smells good. And along with that, I got the Match Perfection 2-in-1 Concealer and Brightener, which I use just underneath my eyes, and I think it works really, really well. I really like it because it has a little brush. Did you use that tonight? Yeah. Cool. Under my eyes. College student. Don't get much sleep. It's just, it's true. Mother of a college student. Don't get much sleep. Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> and then, I, I tried this powder before from NYX. It's the Stay Matte, Not Flat. But Not Flat. There you go. I have nail polish. Surprise, surprise. With my growing collection. I have, I got the... Bikini Sotini from Essie, which I don't have swatches of this, unfortunately, but it's a light purpley blue. It's
it's really pretty. My mom thinks I have a color like this. I really don't. I didn't say a word, did I? No, but no. I'm, I'm it's your money. looking at the judgment. <laughs> I'm just waiting until you hold this one up with what you have on your fingernails. This is exactly why I got this one. So this is from China Glaze. It's called Pool Party. And the reason I got it is because it matches the color I have on my nails right now. And the color I have on my nails is a, like a 99 cent nail polish. And I'm actually almost out of it. And I tried looking for it. They no longer make it. I can't see what brand it is because it's worn off because it's so old. So I got this one because it matched it almost perfectly. And it's neon. It's neon. And yeah, it's that's pretty. cool. Yeah. And then I also just got a, another top coat. I like the Sally Hansen Insta Dry. That's a great top, top coat. coat. And then um, my last like makeup makeup product is from NYX. And it's it has a really long name because it's an intense name. It's the Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Shine Eyeliner. And I can't say this word. Azure. Azure. I don't know. It's bright blue. Do a little little. Um, and this actually is waterproof. I tried earlier. Ooh, so pretty. So I also picked up a new eyeliner from Urban Decay in Sabbath. Sabbath. I think it's, was this one of their new colors? Do you remember? Yeah. And it's like a um, dark, almost navy kind of blue. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to use that <sighs> one. Okay, I just have a few other things and we'll wrap this up real quick. I picked up this um, CoverGirl, like a tinted lip balm. It has a little SPF in it. Oh, Peony. Oh. Peony. Sorry. Yeah. This is what happens when you give me. So, pick that up. <laughs> I think that'll be a fun little color to wear by the pool or at the beach. Okay. Then I picked up a little sample size of the Benefit Poor Fessional and that gal. That gal. Which they're both uh, primers. Mm -hmm. One's a brightening primer and the other one is... Uh, yeah, for disguising primer. <laughs> Hopefully, okay. yeah. And if you've watched my foundation video, you know I have a couple of foundations that I really like, but they are kind of settling in my pores. So I picked up those as a sample, and I also picked up this uh, L'Oreal Miracle Blur, which is another uh, primer. And I used this tonight as I was getting ready because I just was really interested in checking it out. I don't see any of her pores that um, used to be. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit on here. Gigantic. Well, it's really thick. Look at that. It, it's kind of thicker, but it, you know, it went on pretty nice. It, the big test will be seeing how much oil break it, breakthrough I have. Um, but one of the things I liked about it is it has an SPF 30 in it. So that'll work really great under some of those foundations that I have that have no SPF that are driving me crazy. So um, I'm going to probably try to give that a work out tomorrow on, mm -hmm. at work. Okay, then I picked up this L'Oreal um, eye makeup remover for waterproof and long wearing. One of my subscribers suggested this would be a good one to try. Advanced Renewal. Um, it's a glycolic peel kit. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess you mix the two parts together and then brush them on with this little brush. And hopefully it'll transform me. Oh, I almost forgot. And then I picked up two more of the Real Techniques brushes. Uh, the little fine liner brush and this one is the shading brush. I really like the ones I have. Um, I got the starter kit and I really like those so I thought I would pick those up too. So yes, that's all we have for you. Bye. Bye. This is all jumbled up mess. Have fun editing. <laughs> This is really awkward. How do people show handbags? You can read the color.
while I show this watch? It's a gloss bomb and it's in number 220. Does it have a color name? No. Oh! Peony! Oh. Out of shush, all... Shush! Shush! <laughs> Stop! It <laughs> looks... Uh, <laughs> I was going to say something inappropriate, but that's... Yeah. Yeah. Okay.